Okay, in this presentation, what we're going to do is we are going to first off call library ggplot2, and what we're going to use is a data set that's inbuilt in ggplot2, and it's called Midwest. So I just have some of this done before. So what we're looking at here is the demographic data from five US states, or I think it's five anyway. And so what we have there is the name of the county, in the first instance, it's Adams County, Illinois, then Alexander County, Illinois, and so on. Okay, uh, just as a remark, they're in alphabetical order. I'm not sure about the state, but the counties are in alphabetical order. And also what we have there is a PID. Now this is seemingly, I'm not quite sure what this is about. And in fact, it actually causes a bit of a problem that we're going to look at. Now the rest of the data set corresponds to demographic data about the state. And let's just say, for argument's sake, I want to in, uh, I want to study that. I want to visualize it, and so on. So what I need to do is join this data set here to a different data set called a shape file, and visualize it from there. But I have to get it ready first. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to this USA government website called census.gov. Okay, and. After a bit of research, I found out that each US state has a unique identifier called an FIPS code, okay, for all counties and all equivalents. So it's USA, or sorry, it's census.gov, geo references codes county. You should be able to find it there if you Google it. So I'm just going to click here. I'm going to go for all the United States in one go and press, click on that and press go. What happens is I get this here, okay? Now there's a reason why. I want to use this code. So what I have here is the name of the state. I think this is a state number where they're all in alphabetical order. Seemingly Florida comes 12th. This is the FIPS code, a unique identifier for each county. And there we have Miami-Dade County. Now the reason actually why I sort of want to use the FIPS code or the FIPS code is that the formatting is not consistent from data set to data set. So what might happen is that I might have Miami-Dade with a hyphen here and in a different data set, it doesn't have the hyphen, and that causes problems. I'll just give you another example. It causes problems when you're trying to join them up and they're trying to find each other. So a different example might be here, St. John's County. Well, that could be spelt out as Saint, S-A-I-N-T, or it could be S-T with no dot. Or John's, I'm not quite sure what that is, is the little possessive case, St. John's County, County of St. John. Should there be a little comma there? Between N and S. Not sure. Some people might put it in and uh, some people might not put it in. Anyway, it causes problems when you're trying to join data sets. Whereas if you're using simple code like 109, that makes life very simple. Okay? So what I'm just going to do here is pause for a second and I'm going to go down and find my county, Illinois. I'm just going to pause it because it might be rooting around for a while. There we go. Unpaused. So there I have it, Adams, Alexander, Bond, and so on. So I have all of these unique identifiers for each county. Now, uh, so it's within the state, by the way. That's something I should point out. So we have the state name and then this code here, okay? So I think for the sake of clarity, what I'm going to do here is combine the state code and the county code as one unique identifier. So 17 zero zero one okay that's what I'm going to do later on and or maybe you just leave it as two variables I, I will see how it goes but anyway I have a way of matching this data set here to a different data set that is consistent now so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to download this data set it's a national county dot text what I'm going to do is save it in my working directory and import it as a CSV file and clean it up. So um, I'm just going to pause for a second and I'll just do that and come back to you in a second. So I've downloaded it there, okay, and let's just run that bit of code again. I just ran it a second ago just to test that it would work. Uh, FIPS is the name of the data frame that I'm going to create. And read CSV. The file is called national county underscore county dot txt. I saved it to my working directory and then just imported it as a CSV file 
such that I should have data frame here now. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I want. Okay. Now, so, well, actually, it's not exactly what I want. I have to do it again. That'll do. Okay, because it's, so it was looking at a uh, variable, the first, it was looking at this as variable names, and that's not the case. So I had to add in header equals false. Okay, so what I could do there is just change the names a little bit. So see state code or state, um, state, just call it state, state code, county code, uh, county name, and there's another variable there that I'm gonna get rid of called I'm just going to call it type, okay? So let's have a look at that. FIPS, perfect, okay? I, I'm going to get rid of type later on. Also, actually, what I should do is county code. So we're going to have to use something there that actually sort of keeps the digits, okay? So, but anyway, we're off to a good start, okay? So what I want to do here is I just want Midwest FIPS, okay? So essentially what I'm gonna do is subset it both data sets. So I'm just gonna go back to Midwest and look at the county, the states, okay? So this is the state code. So I have Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, and Wisconsin, okay? So what I'm gonna do is subset FIPS my FIPS data set, such that, actually, do you know what? I'll do the same thing again. Oops, capitals. So I'll do the same thing again, but essentially I'll just pick out the states I want, okay? So for example, I'm gonna use the in command here. So this is where actually I'm going to use library dplyr, okay? dplyr, okay. So what I'm going to do is subset fit, FIPS using the filter command from dplyr. So state in, I love this one in. If you're not familiar with R, uh, you should definitely check this one out, okay? It's, is, is it an element of a list, okay? So we're going to set up a little list here. And it's the states from the Midwest data set. Uh, Wisconsin, what's the next one? Indiana, Michigan. Okay, so let's just look at our states now. There we go. Now, sorry, just be a little bit mindful of the fact that it's the way we've imported this data set. State is a factor, okay? So it actually retains all its levels. That's just a little peculiarity of the way that state is saved in the memory okay so what i can do here is sort that okay just sort it so just give us a sense of where we need to be uh wisconsin michigan ohio indiana illinois okay i'll just run that again so we can for the sake of comparison because what i want to do here is just cross check that against midwest state Okay, I think that's lowercase when I'm talking about Midwest. I probably should have done uppercase and lowercase or just guess, be consistent. Anyway, we have 72 for uh, Wisconsin. We have 102 for Illinois. We have 92 for Indiana. We have 83 for Michigan. And we have 88 for Ohio. We're looking good. So what I'm going to do now is I think actually I can join them directly. Okay, but what I have to do is make sure that I have all my, both my data sets sorted. Okay, so Midwest, let's just have a look at that again. Head. Okay, so those are the first five. So state and county. Okay, so what I'm going to do is organize it by, have it ordered by state, then county. Okay, so Midwest is Midwest arrange by state 
and county. Okay. Now it probably wasn't that order all along. But what I'm going to do now is do something similar with FIPS. Okay. So I just actually have to check the names of FIPS first. I'm trying to do something there. Let's just check the names of FIPS. State county name and state yeah. Okay. So FIPS is reordered as FIPS by state and county name. Oops. Watch out for that. Now, the thing I can do here is that I can... So what you might be sort of thinking is, this: is this a case for a SQL join? Not exactly, because they won't match up. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is combine them by column, bind them by column even. Okay. So FIPS, I'm going to put FIPS first because it has all that sort of categorical, all that proper identifier information. And Midwest has all of the other information that we need. Okay. Let's just have a look at that. Head 10. Okay. So let's just scroll back up here a second and sort of see. Adams County, Alexander County, Brown, Brown, okay. The states seem to match up well. I think we've hit our marks, okay. Now, that's, what we need to do now is clean this up a bit, okay. We have lots of excess information, like county name. We don't really need Brown County, okay. But I think for the most part, we've, we've pretty much matched up very well. Anyway, the key thing I wanted is to have the state code and the county code there, which are unique identifiers, such that they can be joined to other data sets later on. I think I'm going to leave it there, actually, because I think, uh, what I'm going to do, actually, sorry, for last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save that as Midwest 2, okay? Uh, Midwest yeah, Midwest 2 with the county codes, okay? Now I can delete a few variables there, like there's a lot of excess information there that I probably don't need, but we can worry about that another time. What I could do there actually is use dplyr to select and unselect a couple of variables just to tidy it up a bit. That's a small matter, okay? Uh, but what I'm gonna do now is go and get my shape file the other half of this analysis and join it onto this. So that's a different video. I think uh, for the most part, I'm done here.